What if I told you there was a way to make your dumb remote controlled devices into smart home ones, controllable with your voice through Alexa or Google Home? Well, there is, and it's this. It's called the Bond. Join me as I take a closer look and find out whether it's worth the $99 asking price. But first, a quick demo. This is a relatively dumb remote controlled cinema screen, which I can control with this 433 megahertz remote control. It's fairly simple. Down. So this little device is the Bond Home and it's learnt the remote control codes to make this screen move up and down. So all I need to do is say, turn off cinema screen. Okay, turning off the cinema screen. And now this dumb remote controlled cinema screen is voice controlled with Google Home and Alexa. So in a nutshell, that's it. The Bond device learns any remote control that's based on radio frequency 433 or 315 megahertz, as well as anything based on infrared. It'll then turn those into smart devices and put them onto your network to be controlled through voice control. Or at least it should. Unfortunately, the software is seriously underdeveloped right now. The promise of the Bond Home is that it will let you control anything with a remote control. And certainly the hardware is capable of that. It has all manner of sensors and transmitters in here that can communicate with your remote controls. But the software only lets you learn ceiling fans and fireplaces. Now this is really disappointing given how long the software has been out. The fireplaces is a fairly recent addition, but I can't help thinking they've gone in a completely wrong direction with this. And it's really a shame because it seems like the hardware is very capable of learning new codes. I haven't had a problem with any of the remotes I've tried yet, except for one which I'll get onto later. So how then was I able to control my cinema screen using this? Well, very simply, I just told it that it was actually a ceiling fan and added it like that. I only use the on and off codes since that's all it really needs. And then exported that to Google Home. So my Google setup right now thinks that that's a ceiling fan, but of course it doesn't really matter if you tried to send a percentage speed value or something, it would just not support it and it wouldn't try to control it. So there is a kind of workaround that you can use, but it's obviously not ideal. So to be honest, I really would expect the most basic of things, a on off switch to be a supported device type without having to resort to hacking around with forcing it to be a fan or something. The hardware clearly is capable of learning lots of different device types and codes for their remote control. So I really don't know why they haven't extended it a lot more easily than they have. Now, when the product was originally pitched, it was said that it would eventually support every type of device that you own. There's also a pretty big limitation at the moment of six devices total that you can control. This seems entirely arbitrary. I'm sure they can store more than that on the device itself. Hopefully this is something that they can change with a firmware update. So other devices I tested it with and had success with are these uh, remote controlled switches, just little plug-in sockets that you works over 433 megahertz RF, and then you can turn them on and off with these buttons. If you add each one as a separate device type, that works fine. I also tried an infrared remote control just for these uh, cheapo LED strip lights. That seemed to work fine. Again, only on and off is going to work because there's no LED strip device type, so you're not going to have buttons for the colors, but if you just want to turn them on and off, then you can learn this too. The only one I had problems with is this curious 2.4 gigahertz RF. Um, this is for another ceiling light. I wasn't really expecting this one to work, but I thought I'd try it anyway, and indeed it doesn't work. So should you buy the Bond, or to give it its official title, the Bond Smart Wi-Fi Ceiling Fan Remote Hub? Well, I'd like to see some serious development on the software side of things before I can fully recommend this. As I said, at the moment, it literally just supports ceiling fans and fireplaces, and even the fireplaces are only exported as fans to Google Home. I do think spending $100 just to control one or two ceiling fans around your home is probably a little bit excessive. However, if they could extend the software to control anything that was remote controlled, 
then this would easily be worth it. If you had a room full of those dumb remote controlled sockets, then being able to control them all via voice control would be very useful and actually a lot cheaper than going out and buying specifically Wi-Fi controlled sockets. A pack of four of those remote controlled sockets, for instance, costs $20 as opposed to $20 each for a socket that already has Wi-Fi built in. So this could save you some serious money. And to be clear, you can do that at the moment with this device. It's just, it's a bit of a hack job and it's not really designed to do that. Everything you export is going to be seen by Google Home as a fan. Now, whether this really matters in the long run is debatable. And it's a real shame because like I said, the hardware inside of here certainly seems capable of doing a lot more. It's really just the software that's severely holding it back. At the very least, they have to add a such a basic on off switch type. I have no idea why they haven't done that. Seems like that would be the starting point, And from then on, you add more complicated things like ceiling fans. Now, obviously, if you've added infrared remote control devices to it, it's not going to travel around corners. That's just the property of light. However, the radio frequency at least should cover the immediate room and the rooms next to it and above and below. So if you have a really large home, you may need a few of them. So I hope that tells you pretty much everything you need to know about the Bond Smart Wi-Fi controller for ceiling fans and whether it's worth your money at the moment. If not, or if you have any questions or things you'd like me to try out, then head on down to the comments and I'll see what I can do. Although bear in mind, it's gonna be very difficult for me to say whether or not this works with your specific device. If this video did help, then please hit thumbs up. I know it seems like a silly gesture, but it really does help us. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.